Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to turn your own images into anime images or like anime style cartoon images using Stable Diffusion Web UI. First of all, you're going to download anime type model. You can download any one of these and it should be fine. Just download one that looks like the style of images you want to create. And then you're going to launch your Stable Diffusion Web UI. Once it's launched, you're going to go over to the image to image tab. And over here, you're going to select the image that you want to use. I'm going to be using this image I have generated on Leonardo AI. After that, you're going to select your stable diffusion checkpoint that you want to use. These are the models. You can use any one as long as it's as long as it matches the style that your images are. Wait for it to process and then you can just hit generate and you should be fine. It doesn't really matter if you change the sampling steps or the sampling method or any of these settings for now unless you want to change the width and height. That's up to you, but I'm just going to be setting it as the original like because I don't want to change anything from the image I just want it to be a portrait one and then I'm just going to hit generate just give it a second you can see its progress in this window over here or over here now right here it generated a very different image Another way of doing this would be going to the text to image prompt, opening control net and then pasting your image over here. Let's say this one. You're going to change the control net weight to 1.1 or 1.05. For your sampling method, this doesn't really matter, just choose Euler A. And for the width and height, try to Keep it at 512 by 512 or whatever your stable diffusion checkpoint is trained to. I'm just going to reload the checkpoint and then hit generate to see the type of images that we get. You can see with this model, it just generated something completely different and it didn't really use our control net. So I'm going to try a different model like Dream Shaper. You can also add your own prompt that matches the image and hit generate once the processing is done. I had to reset the site because it froze, so I'm just going to upload the image over here again. I'm going to try to increase the control weight to see what it does. And for the control type, I'm just going to add revision or recolor. You can also add your own models into your control net that will help you out. For example, if you added a control anime model it could help you generate better images and then i'm just going to change it to just resize so because i don't want to change it and for the control mode i'm going to uh, add control net is more important let's see what type of images this gives us now you see it actually changed that up quite a bit but it did keep most of the stuff the same as it took the color scheme from this. It's not the most realistic image, but it did turn our image into anime. And it still kept the glasses, it kept the style of the hair and the hair color. And it did use our control net to account for the image that we're generating. I'm going to try again. This one turned out slightly different. But the hair is more accurate on this. It's a little more detailed. You can keep generating this again and again and uh, try different ways of doing this. For example, just using the image to image tab again. You can mess around with the, with the settings until you get good results. Otherwise, I'm just going to try this, the image to image tool again. And just change it to just resize. Sampling method will be Euler A. Sampling steps can be default. For the height and width, I'm just going to set it 
to the original image and hit generate again now you can see we finally got some similar results and it did take our image to image tool into account otherwise you can mess with your settings you can add your own models or uh, or experiment around with the prompts uh, you can actually paste one of these images into mid journey and ask for it you know, to generate a prompt for you that matches this image that would give you better results so like if you go to an image to prompt it will give you a prompt that matches this image so you can paste that over here along with this image for better results otherwise that sums up the video thank you for watching and goodbye